<laughs> so it's been a long time since we've done another one of these uh, kind of brew guides or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. If you're a fan of the shop, it's a brew guide. If you're a hater, maybe another one of these uh, silly videos. So uh, there was a, a couple requests from a while ago to do an AeroPress demo. So this is an AeroPress, three parts, filter, piston, plunger. To me, not a fan, but uh, it's a good travel brewer. It's basically indestructible. So uh, if you go camping, find yourself in the Himalayas, this is probably what you want to bring with you. So I've already wet the filter, basically locks in. So when you do this, you're going to want your AeroPress, your coffee, a vessel to catch it in, and some hot water. And this is to help make sure all the coffee gets in the AeroPress. I like to do it very quickly, and I like to do it right side up as opposed to inverted. So I like to brew the coffee this way as opposed to this way. You just have to be a little bit faster when you put it together so it doesn't all drip out as you're putting it together. So I put it on what I'm gonna collect the coffee in. I put uh, about 15 grams of coffee in here. Ground about what I would grind it for a V60. So not as coarse as uh, a Chemex, a little bit finer than that, but not espresso either. Make sure it's level. I get my timer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 200 grams of water in there and I'm gonna do it very quickly and I'm gonna put this on here to create a seal so it quits dripping out. So it'll actually sit in here and brew. So I'm gonna do that for uh, about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna do this very, very fast. I like it a little more, uh, I guess, tea-like, less kind of immersive tasting. So I'm gonna let it steep for 30 seconds. I'm gonna take this off real quick, stir it maybe three times, kind of just to break the crust, put this back together so it quits brewing. And around the minute mark, maybe a minute 15, I'm gonna start to slowly plunge out the coffee. I'm gonna very, very slowly apply downward pressure. I'm not gonna do it quickly. I'm gonna do it until I hear the AeroPress hiss. So I'll never plunge all the way to the bed of the coffee, just until I hear it sort of push the air through with a little hiss. And that's it. 